they're they're just like very they keep to themselves Ooh. usually. You're we're much more outgoing than most of We're live okay. on the Facebook group. Hi. The most glorious. Oh, are we not doing mm. right now? W- w- thank you all for reading the goals and the and the sponsorship I did. levels. I'm too busy studying Spanish. Oh, I read your stuff. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. My yeah. My fault. We are only streaming to that one private private group for the people that pay 10 bucks a month and up. Dear Leaders Court. Right. So they can go right. go back and watch it. Are there a lot who do it? Check this out. Um, I've not been around. I know. Yeah, help yourself. No, no, no. Drinky. What about it? Anything you want, Jess. Drinky. drinky. No, I'm good. I got water. We're a libertarian you podcast. Fuck I'm your, like fuck your laws. I'm like my fingers that I get an underage drinking ticket because then we can just make like a GoFundMe. No, I had three. You don't want those <laughs> at all. I had to do so much vacation like, Bible school. No, I've done. I do this all the time. Now yeah. you're drinking. We used to give her. I gave her. <laughs> I used to give her these until she got like those white girl sorority, like drunk one eye trying to look at her phone. She was like, "How do I look?" <laughs> and it was like seven at night. It was. She was. That was not good. You were so drunk. Not you're like, good. let me tell you about politics. Let me explain. Were you I here? Gonna... Did no. you listen to that one? That's every girl. Of course, Chloe. <laughs> no, I just think it would be so funny if I got an underage drinking oh, kitten or ticket, and I had we like made a GoFundMe for me for the wall. Free support. cat, free cat. I have a protest. Who the hell would you? How would they even turn me in? Like you know what I mean? Oh yeah, they like, would that's say not, you're not gonna, video. Yeah. People would get in trouble at Anderson because I would just they are saying yes to a Facebook. Party. Shocking. Have you been I there? Had a fa- no. I had a party. So I had like a party my nephew, I'd never been there, and like my oh, nephew, yeah. that's the. Orchestra oh, yeah. Hall, like his what band, his right. high school band and middle school band play in. That campus is so much nicer than the town it's in. It's <laughs> stunning. So is Boston. Right. A-Town's getting better. No, like that campus is so nice. Is. And like especially like that, the orchestra or the auditorium. It's expensive though. Hello, Kat. How are you? You have to really like. I'm really burr. very excited right now. <laughs> Look who's back. It's me. <laughs> and Jess Alsman's here. I hate college. And Greg Lenz. He's so Great. excited Cat's back. Awesome. Sticky hands. Ew. Yeah. What is that? It's her autism putty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cry. I'm so excited. Are <laughs> my you really? My emotions are all over the place. Yes, I'm so happy. I hate my life. Are you on your period? So no. <laughs> no. No, I have a penis. I don't get those. I'm That's giving awesome. you my... No. Oh, get it off. Change get it off. Change your cycle. Change your cycle. Get it off. Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> this is my political shirt. This is my political shirt. Cause, uh, oh, what is it? 2014 one. college. Com- oh, did you try out for like uh, colleges? Yeah. I was going to play for St. Mary's and then I didn't. St. <laughs> Mary's very soccer player. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't help the rumors. If you know what I mean. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my gosh. This girl. Are we li- live streaming? Just to the group. Um, only they will see it. Group? I don't know. Say it. No, no, no. It's we'll only Christy it. Avery. There's only five people. In there. Love you, Go Christy. Ahead. Yeah. One night at a, this week already at a party, this girl got like really drunk and like was like, do you like girls? And I was like, no. And then she goes, oh, because she's like a lesbian. She goes, well, I heard that you like girls. And I was like, well, I don't know who you're listening to besides we are libertarians, <laughs> but that is not true. Uh-huh. Then later on, she's talking about how like the girl she wants to like fuck. And she goes... I want to fuck Kat because I know she likes girls and I'll give her a good time. And I was so pissed. I stormed out of there. Is that the night that you texted me? And called? Angry t- texted Spangle like, <laughs> I want to come back to the podcast. Uh, That's really aggressive. It, it, so it, aggressive. It made me feel very special because she genuinely like confided u- in you. Ugly cried, called me and was like, I want to move in with you, dad. <laughs> <laughs> it was like. <laughs> I was so pissed. I gave her And comfort. she got really drunk and threw up all over our house. So she gets. I know. Just because yeah. she thinks that she found another lesbian doesn't mean you automatically <laughs> match up. You're right. All right. And besides, have to still Jess Altman is my woman. Yeah. My women? What? I am all the women you need. Yeah. I'm actually all the man you need. <laughs> all this like, man. Honestly. I'm going to get one more beer. Do you want another water? <laughs> I'm going to need another Perhaps. one. Perhaps. Is there another bottle of water in there? I have no idea. This is the one I brought, and it was going to be half full. I am so happy to be look here right you. now. Look at you. Look at Kat. She's back. She it's brought her me. chip. I'm so happy. <laughs> chip, chip. <bro. laughs> Greg's leaving. He's oh, in. Greg. oh, I wasn't recording. Damn it. Greggy, come back. Cat's Greg. back. Jordan. Greg left, guys. Greg left. Greg, Great. come back. Cat, you're off the podcast. Oh. <laughs> 
Eugene. Wow. If you oh if you peek your head through that door, it looks like birth. Wow. Look, I'm Ron Paul Crowning. Uh, <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm skipping the. I'm trying to think. How many? There's a lot of hops though. My nose will get really red unless you guys want to watch me yeah, literally, literally flare up. These are no. These are like. Yeah, these are like. Can we try these? Super, it's like a sprite. It's my favorite. Well, I know, but it's but see that that piece of wheat thing. Yeah. No, you're fine. I promise. All right. Are you Document my nose now. Document my nose. <laughs> you get red from alcohol. Yeah. Yeah, same here. But like that never does it. Okay. Well, then I'll have one. My eyes get. Guys, uh, never go alcohol. full Asian. I'm also not. Just say it. It's you okay. Know, first night back, welcome week. I, because usually just my eyeballs go numb. That's why my eyes get like this. First week back, my whole face got numb. Like couldn't feel my face. <laughs> Like I can't feel my alcohol? face. Yeah. You haven't drank much. <laughs> That's why. I know. You got drunk off one tall boy. Yeah, because I hadn't drank in like three months. Basic white girl flare Hilarious. up. Oh, Taylor <laughs> Swift. We'll talk. Don't don't say anything yet. Okay, but I will say. I swear on my freaking life, I wasn't pretending to cry for a joke. I literally sobbed in my room for an hour. Aww. Sobbed. <laughs> why though? I'm so excited. I'm happy for her. Probably. Were you worried she wouldn't make a comeback? No, after I'm just the so trial. proud of the comeback that she made. She's like, mm-hmm. Oni, <laughs> Greggy. <laughs> so also, I have a very important question to ask Greg at the end of the podcast. Okay. Ask now. No, no, no. Ask me on air. <laughs> pitchfork. What There's is a pitchfork and a gun. in here. And a gun. I feel like I'm in the Revolutionary War. Well, the shot heard around the world. All right. <laughs> you kids ready? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. I'm ready. I'm too old. Uh, roll call on the Facebook Live. <laughs> Who do we have watching? I know Christy and Rick are there, but who who else is there? All right, here we go. We got a lot to cover and a lot of it nonsense. Hold on one second. Okay. Dear leader, I've missed you. I've missed you too. I've really missed everybody. I've seriously yeah. missed everybody. Even Grace. Yes. No, I miss. I wish. I'm sad she didn't come tonight. I, I miss Grace. I am too, because I thought that it was planned. And Mr. Sorority, <laughs> sorority thing, they're all like, "Where are you?" Being awesome. Yeah. yeah. How in your sorority when you're all pregnant in four years? Oh, no. If you can wait that long. Oh. Not there's anything wrong with it, True. but you know, intercourse leads to babies. Possible consumption. Yeah. Babies. <laughs> I said consumption. Being awesome. Sorority when you're all pregnant. Oh shoot. There's like four people who watch. Don't worry. It's recorded. <laughs> yeah. It's very popular. Trust, trust us. Your secrets are safe with them. Oh, thank you, guys. Christy Avery oh, owns, thank you. owned me. <laughs> Lion. Who are these for? for the Ooh, people? What? Who are these for? Uh, for the, the people that donated uh, 25 and up. So, this is like legit. I know. Mm-hmm. All my You're just saying, up. so that's what I was telling him. Like, Abdul, mm. I've never been treated like that by Abdul. At WIBC yesterday, did like the Saturday show. Mm-hmm. It was stunning. Like he was like, "We are libertarians." It's a nationally prominent podcast, and I was <laughs> like, "All did right." You do another thing? Yes, yeah, just me and him. We did uh, thirty minutes on Saturday. Oh, congrats, guys! Stop having. I have black friends. Without me. <laughs> <laughs> How about Harry being the Harry's slave owner? Uh, so explain this. We'll put this in the private feed for uh, the five dollar nut people. Unbelievable. His family's slave owners? Yes, and they left Britain because they outlawed it there and came to Boston so they could keep their slaves. Oh. We, we have one they black guy. Right <laughs> <laughs> Snaps. We have the one black guy that was a slave owner. He, and they, and they, were, they were so committed to it. When England outlawed it, his family moved to Boston so they could keep their slaves. That's crazy. Oh, my God. <laughs> just shows we're racist. <laughs> I know. We, have, we I, are protected. Every show we've had him on where we talked about race and that was our insurance, it was like, I'm just now, a fraud. Like, that was, none of it was real. I know. Gosh. It's very sad. <laughs> All right, here we go. Welcome to We Are Libertarians. I am your host, Chris Spengel. We Are Libertarians brings you all of the irreverence modern politics deserves. Think of, think of us as the love child of National Review and Mad Magazine. We explain to you what the hell is happening in our world today and how we can fix it by thinking differently. Please be sure to rate, us, rate and review us on iTunes, like us on Facebook, share this episode with friends, and support us through PayPal or Patreon. Well, just Patreon now at wearelibertarians.com. We are supported by listeners like you, so $1 per episode by pledging $5 a month helps us grow. We are always taking your questions and comments via email at editor at wearelibertarians.com. 
If you are new to the program, we catch up for the first 20 minutes or so and then a deep dive into analyzing current events and society from a libertarian perspective. This show is adult by is for adults. I'm having trouble tonight. By semi adults, so please be warned the language is strong and offensive on purpose. Oh, it's been a long week and I am struggling and it is going to be we might get an Aunt Donna moment tonight, Greg Lenz. <laughs> uh, Greg, you have your hand up? Yeah, I, I'm, you know, Kat Agnos is back, and I'm so used to her censoring me. I'm going to start raising my hand to make sure what I say is allowable. Right. Since basically everything I do gets censored. Greg, you Can just... Can I speak? No, Greg, you, ju you just ruined my big comeback. <laughs> Nobody introduced me yet. You oh, ruined that's it. Right. Dang it. I'm so sorry. I'm God. so sorry. Also, also here is Kat and Agnes. Hello, everyone. Oh, my goodness. It is so great to be back. I've been at school for the past two weeks. I've hated it. I think about dropping out all the time. <laughs> but I made the hour trip here. I'm here now. And with, he, with me are my all three best friends. We're the three best friends. I'm <laughs> holding hands with one, but Greg's not touching me. Go ahead, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> with us also is the... Jessica Osman. Oh, apparently she's now hosting the show too, Greg. Oh, Kat, thanks for having me on your, your podcast. Kat, that's <laughs> so nice of you. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. I, I have to say, Kat, I have never seen Kat this bubbly and perky and excited. She is so happy to be here. She is feeling that AO Pie vibe. <laughs> I can tell that it's been Rush Week because she is way more bubbly than usual. <gasps> I'm in AO. I'm kidding. I'm not about to do that chant. <laughs> we uh i have a surprise for her we we didn't hear from her for like three weeks greg i know like she just went deep six and like totally left us behind she's like, like yeah i'll take on all this responsibility and then <clears throat> just off the face of the earth and then i much. told you the first three weeks would be hell but you guys have heard from me they have screenshotted my sorority's instagram and has sent it to me and i'm just in the background like clapping and yelling <laughs> not one up not one shot of her on the instagram in, in a sorority in greek life there's sales and there's operations right <laughs> and then there was behind the scenes operations that's yeah you're, you're, you're the grip yeah. yeah, she's production crew. She was the cameraman. Stage manager. <laughs> Treating her like Harry, just the hired help in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Photo by cat. I know. Yeah. This is her taking up Barely. all these great photos of us. And so I just keep I just keep sending messages to the Ball State AOPI thing saying, where's cat? Where's cat? And boy, are they angry. <laughs> are they? <laughs> yes, I have a class with the girl who runs it. And she every day is like, cat, like... You know I love you. You know we all love you. Like you're beautiful too. Like we, there's a lot of people who are on on the Instagram and like, I, well, I, I don't really know why. Like you're, you're like fans keep saying this, and I'm like, first of all, they're not my fans. Second of all, you're lying. It's true. I well, mean, I think it's just because you're such a star, you would. Uh, what's the right word? You would dwarf the rest of the AOPI Instagram? I mean, there's so many other little people in your sorority that have been on the uh, Instagram, but yet you were on the Bob and Tom show. And a big opportunity, and then, uh, you know, it wasn't small. No, it was not small. It was not Your a tiny. No step right stool would have been needed. So, no right? step stool. Let me tell you something. Oh. First of all, <laughs> I thought I would go back and, you know, be treated like royalty. You are no social media midget, I'll tell you that. Boy, <laughs> am I treated like dirt. <laughs> right. Nobody cares that I was on the Bob and Tom show, which is not like I'm bragging, but nobody cares. <laughs> Say it again. I, Ever heard of it? Yeah. Ever heard of it? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, more Jess, importantly... Jess to the show, uh, yeah. to the Bob and Tom show. My day job, her, her, Jess is a professional. And nobody cares. Loosely also, loose. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There we go. I keep making, <laughs> I keep making dirty jokes at home and I do the, <laughs> yeah, and nobody's there to high five me. Because when she was an intern, we'd make a double entendres and they'd go, <laughs> and high five. Mm -hmm. Nobody cares. Huh. Nobody cares. Nobody. Who rewards you for your 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 clever personality, your wit? Here's now, the thing. Your now, these, aren't, wit. these aren't RE20s, Jess, so you're going to get right up. Oh. There you go. There you go. That's these it. are podcast microphones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these are the best well, that money can buy. Fancy, fancy studios that I right. use in my personal time. Right. Yeah. So you got to talk right into it. Okay. Well, and here's Wait the problem. So I may, I'm making our recruitment video for my sorority. Right. And boy, Help. did everyone throw a hissy fit. Kat's not qualified to make this. She doesn't have the right equipment. She doesn't know how to edit. And boy, I was triggered like a snowflake. I kept saying, <laughs> do you know what I've done all summer? <laughs> I'm a 
a podcast. I'm having a podcast. I have two best friends. <laughs> <laughs> Which, speaking of two best friends, the only friends I will have by the end of the semester, because boy, <laughs> let me tell you, people in college, especially my social worker and elementary education major friends and roommates, <clears throat> do not appreciate using you know words like autism loosely, faggot, <laughs> <laughs> gay. So yeah. it has ne- been. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that one's always not been. Well. That's, that one's always been bad. So I don't yeah. Think so I think that gets used more frequently than you let on. Ah, uh, yikes! <clears throat> but let's just say, I they are not happy. Well, you do know that when I was just telling you that proper water maintenance and like you know sustainability mm-hmm. when. When I said, when it's brown, flush it down, and when it's yellow, let it mellow, I wasn't talking about how you should treat the people at Ball State. Oh, oh damn it. <laughs> you should have been more clear. I know. wish you hadn't been. I mean, I saw the pictures. You were driving around campus. You had the stars and bars flying out one okay. window, and you had your tiki torch flying out the Rest other. First of all. You kept going beep beep. Honestly, the reason we haven't heard from her is she was in Charlotte's. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, I didn't want to say anything, but yes, that is the... <laughs> now, conk. Uh, Jess, J- Jess, did you go to college? Like a... I did. Okay, did you live in dorms? I did for two semesters, uh... I broke it up. Freshman year is one semester, sophomore year one semester, and then I got out. Okay. Now, uh, did you ever pee in bottles? No. Instead of going to the bathroom? Never. I would walk to the restroom and pee in a toilet like a normal person. And Who does that? Weren't you afraid of waking up your roommate? No. I'd be like, I got to pee. Mm. Wow. See, narcissists don't think about others. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would be very... Wow, that was a quick agreement. <laughs> I was actually pretty cautious about some of the stuff I did. No. Mm. A little too much. But I would go to the bathroom. Right. And that's not like, you know, a hostile act towards no. the people you live on a floor with. It's right. I think if I turned the TV on the radio up and then started like some death metal when I went to the bathroom and came back, like I need my metal to sleep. That's right. rude. Because, I mean, let's be honest. Like, you know, if you wake someone up, I would rather be woken up than wake up to the smell of stale urine. Right. Wait, so who peed in a bottle? But the correct you, term is cat. who. The c- correct question is who pees in bottles. <laughs> who pees? Who still I pees? I do. How do you, first off, you have a vagina. Yes. Right. How do you even do it, get it in the bottle? Because it's I have. Splatter. Because I have there. practiced. I have practiced this act for over four years. Very, very talented vagina. This So week. accurate. <laughs> if, I will do it for you in the bathroom. If <laughs> I woke up and saw you peeing in a bottle, I would call you a freak. See, here's yeah. the thing. My roommates accept me, one, and two, they dump it out for me. I, I don't think they accept what? that. That's, yes, yeah. that's the stunning part. That they're okay with. Yeah. But when you say a whatever remark, they're like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm telling you, this is the college that we live in, like the college time that we live in. This is America. This is, this is Trump's America. Thanks a lot. We're living it. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Peanut and bottles. I'm so excited you came back because I wasn't sure you would. I, I thought really, you might, I thought you might leave forever. Anagnosis have a long history, history. of being no show anagnosis. And so you prepare for the worst. You know, you hope for the best. And so I got you a present. Oh, really? And so I need you to close your eyes oh, while I get you these. Am I about to get hazed? No, you're not. You're not getting hazed. Oh, All, right. All right. I'm scared. So open you to, open your you mouth. Pay. No. Keep your eyes closed. <laughs> I hear a rustling noise. Hand this it is to Greg. This is the first one. Is it going to bite me? Just no. help. <laughs> it's going to bite me. Oh, boy. An empty Gatorade bottle. Thank <laughs> 32 you. 32 ounces. So much, Greg. And it's, it's, wide mouth. it's clean. <laughs> yeah, it's wide. It's, it's got a wide mouth. I feel like it's the most thoughtful thing I could get you. Honestly, thank you. Let's see? It's like a little trophy. Now, Did I win the Grammy? <laughs> just in case, because I know you have a comforter in case you have spillage. But, oh, so you can be clean and have clean <laughs> fingers. Oh, wet wipes. I got you wet, wet wipes. wipes. You can put Thank them. You. you can put them right next to your bed on mm. your little nightstand. I mean, you couldn't. What? You could wet my have, hands. Thank you. Yeah. you couldn't have. Uh, you know, spend an extra dollar and got the summer's eve wipes. Oh yeah. Oh no, th- those are rural king. <laughs> <laughs> they kill ninety nine point nine percent of germs, and they sting. See, mm. honestly, thank you. This is a very thoughtful gift. I'm putting this like this isn't going to be one of those. <laughs> thank you so much, Greg. And then I go outside and throw it in the dumpster. I will be using this tonight. I I, I mean that's those seal. Can I mean, those I, seal really well. Can I text you a picture of it? No. Ew. That's, I'm going to do it. Make it an Instagram post. Rick Irvine is a dirty pervert. He wants a demonstration no. right now. Honestly, zip. She, no, she genuinely was like, the first time we talked about this, she's like, I will show you right now. And like stood up. Is it No, it's not weird. I me. just don't believe that you don't splatter and get it on your bed sheet somehow. Where, no, I stand off, up. If you're in, a dorm, you're in a dorm room, Mike. so you shared one room. Oh, hey. Sorry. <laughs> so you're in a dorm room, right? You can, well, you can, you can, you can I hold was, that if you want. 
Take well, it you with can you. hold the microphone. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Okay. Like, there you go. There we go. Yeah. Britney Spears. There, there you go. go. Hey guys, thanks for coming to my show. <laughs> so you're in a dorm room? Uh, no, I was in the dorm room for the past two years, and now I'm in a house. But wait, I still do so it. do you share a bedroom then? No. But she has her so, own sink. What? Where's the toilet? You have a sink but no toilet. No, so, she has a toilet around the corner. Mm-hmm. She just chooses no, to no, pee no, in the no, sink. No. Everything. Ever since I moved no. into the house, I pee, like I pee in the bathroom. But this was mainly a dorm thing. So okay. For the past two years, I've done it. Still. Every night. Oh, so this is a waste. Well, uh, I mean, sometimes, like, you can't make it. <laughs> <laughs> Jess? I'm still just so confused. Can I ask you about your vagina? Uh, Please do. I have one. Now, now, Jess, I know. I've, uh, it covers toilets. Now, fascinating. going on, be, Kat says that women don't need to wipe, but I have always heard that you need to wipe. You need to wipe. And so she's just okay. hanging out with a watery vagina. No, That's no, a no. good comment, He's because putting, is this for your hands or for your hoo-ha? He is putting words into my mouth. The comforter is for the hoo-ha. That's for Ew. the hands. Oh. <laughs> Here's the Because you drip. No matter how much you're done, there's always like one more drop, and like even if you... Yeah, you just wait for a minute, and then it drips down, There's and nothing worse than it's going to a restroom, fabric. and like fabric. they don't TP, and there's no one in there, so you're like... And like, come on, is it done? Is it done? No. You just might have like a. You have to like hover around, just kind of like make sure. There's always like a drop it, drop left. You have like a hose. You do like a Hawaiian dance. Dear leader, over I think she just has a droopy to vagina. make sure that it's completely <laughs> like a Samoan <laughs> warrior dance because while you're hovering over wet the toilet. Undies, like, oh, I peed my pants. Hold Sorry. on, we have an accusation by Cat towards Jess I, of a droopy vagina. I just said <laughs> weak. Vaginal Rude. balls. Okay, I is must what just be. I might just be blessed because literally I don't have that problem. Well, maybe it's because I have severe asthma and allergies, and I cough all the time, Cat. <laughs> so thanks for taking a stab at my uh, my health issues. Look, I'm sorry. Come here. We're gonna hug it out. Okay. Not everybody was blessed with a strong pelvic floor, Cat. Yeah, Not I have a great lung capacity. <laughs> things trigger my allergies, like this. Lionel Klugen. This really lemony beer will probably make me flare like, it's up. It's not my fault. I have a heavy set. Wait, what is it? A White heavy set, set vagina set. with White a heavy flow. White set vagina with a heavy flow. That was a joke, everyone. I don't. <laughs> oh, boy. Hilarious. Wait, Ugh. you're on your Menzies. Okay, well, okay, now this is just getting too much. Are you, oh, are you on your period, line. cat? No. Oh. But I will say, everyone in my house, there's five girls total, are syncing up right now, and it is a nightmare. <laughs> That sucks. Like this one girl, like two girls are on the period right now, and the other girl was like, guys, I just started my period three weeks early. Oh, boy. And they're all like running around like, I hate America. I hate you. Like, it's great. Is that I hate America? <laughs> yeah. Anti-patriotism is a byproduct of periods. Well, now it is for millennials. <laughs> is it really? Well, yeah. I'm pretty sure, yeah. They start shedding, and all of a sudden, like... <laughs> <laughs> Is, really that, is that the wrong terminology? <laughs> They're ovaries. Shedding like a snake. <laughs> their ovaries get mad that there's not a baby in it? <laughs> Probably, but... Um... That's basically what it is. <laughs> okay, so I'm joining ISIS. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Go we're, ahead. We're no, out no, of no. here, cervix. No. Yeah. Uh, everyone, just just tried to censor herself. She said, I did. I, did I had a comment, it. but I, I can't say it. Say it. I don't even remember what it was now. Well, she's about a big, fat liar. Mad, they don't... I got nothing. <laughs> Millennials today, they want to... Be pregnant just so they can get rid of it. Because they've got the right to. <laughs> oh, no. I hope that's not the case. Protect Honestly, that's the sex. current state of American feminism. Yep. Yeah. Is it? Pretty much. Have an abortion because you can. I like the wor- I don't know. And you Worst get money. feminist ever. I just watch. I hate women. I watch cartoons and. Not what I heard, Kat. Oh, God. <laughs> Kat has been accused of being a lesbian multiple times because <laughs> she played soccer her entire life. Drives a Subaru. Drives I don't a Subaru. Drive, drive Wait, a Ford Fusion, a okay? <laughs> Okay. That's pretty cool. Just because I like to have sex with women doesn't mean... No, I'm <laughs> Just because I like to drive through the crosswalks and say, yeah. take a bruising from the fusion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That's actually a low-key a low lesbian friend. <laughs> so this has been fun. Thanks for listening. Does it have an eyebrow? Or like one of those things that says fusion I totally thought v- he meant vagina, uh, me too. Me too. Did you see my face? Yes. I was like, oh, my. I uh, eyebrow like, for the... <laughs> he's Methodist. He doesn't do that. Do I don't know. In too? Come, come outside and like on the, on the front window, like on the on the, the the front window, like does it say fusion across the top? Yeah, I think so. Come outside by my trunk, and I'll show you. Oh, you smell this rag first. Oh god! I don't even smell like chloroform. <laughs> Want to smell yellow? It's a little stale. I, I've got to, if you if you don't follow us on Twitter and Instagram, honestly, what's wrong with you? Uh, you can uh, well, you can't go to We Are Libertarians right now because I'll, I'll tell you why in a bit. But the website's down. Uh, the our Instagram and our Twitter uh, were filled this week with joy, rapture divine. <laughs> um, I've never seen – I this is 
Greg, yesterday when we were going through this together, you and I, uh, I was I was having a moment with uh, uh, towards Cat that I haven't experienced since the pee bottle thing. <laughs> uh, her friends, her roommates, captured the moment when Taylor Swift's album and artwork was released. There was what what happened, Cat? So here we go. So I think I haven't talked about this. So Taylor <laughs> Swift has been on break for three years since the l- release of her last album, 1989, smash hit. Love it. Shake it off. Shake it off. So, all of a sudden, last week, she deletes everything. She deletes every post, tweet, picture. Sorry, that was mitten. <laughs> every single thing on all of her social media platforms. What was going on in the Tumblr conspiracy blog? Everybody was shook. They were so confused. And here's the thing. Like, her, you know, Facebook, or her Twitter and Instagram have only documented the past three years, so it was a big deal, but not crazy. But her Facebook and her MySpace even have, because, like, her old MySpace, because she used those to start off with. So right. those have been around full of content for 11 years. Oh, I, I, I had a, I had a, MySpace, I had a my, MySpace skin. Right. Wiped everything. Every single thing was gone. Profile oh. pictures, everything was gone. Unfollowed everybody, unliked everything. So everyone was freaking out. Then, for the past three days in a row, she's released a little clip of, like, a black and like white highly saturated like quick video of like something slithering now could now when you saw this could you even i could not even here's the thing when it fir- the first part of the video i thought it was everyone thought it was the eclipse cuz she released it on the day of the eclipse so everyone's like oh my god her new album is like space themed right the second video it, you saw something kind of slither and everyone is like oh my god it's a dragon then the third clip boys hold my hands it was of a snake attacking the camera Oh, so <gasps> all together, it's a huge snake like slithering because in the Kim- Kanye West, Kim Kardashian drama, everyone called her a snake and the whole world turned against her. You know, everyone, the media hated I her. I never turned against her. I didn't either. I stood with her. <laughs> then, boys, gentlemen, yesterday at around 11 o'clock a.m., she releases three pictures. One is a picture of her black and white with newspaper font like graphic and it says just all of her name. And it, the name of her new album is called Reputation. The snake. She has taken her, you know, old uh, thing that was used against her and has used it for herself. And the newspapers and her new single will be released tonight at 12.01 Eastern Standard Time. So I guess technically tomorrow. And then her album will be released November 10th. Now, my sister Chloe and I right. have, we were freaking out the entire time. Define and, freaking out for us. So... When it happened, my roommates were filming me. I didn't realize it. And I swear on my life, I wasn't, like, hamming it up for the cameras. This was, like, genuine. I started... Genuine insanity. Screaming. <laughs> you are a fucking crazy person. I, I was screaming. I was sobbing. I sobbed in my room for an hour. I was so excited. And then I was texting, like, calling Chloe. We both were screaming on the phone. My roommates were recording us, thinking it's crazy. And Honestly, my... this is exactly what... Uh, Greg and I do when Tom Woods releases a podcast. Exactly. Yeah. Screaming, yeah. jumping up and down, wringing your hands out. Yeah, look at him. He owned the Nazi name. <laughs> oh. So then, my sister, Chloe and I, who you all know, Smelly and Agnos, no show. <laughs> <laughs> we set up 13 Google Alerts for when her ticket sale, like her tour is announced and her tickets go on sale. New York City, Nashville, Texas, um... What were the others? Indianapolis, Chicago, etc. So when her tickets go on sale, we will be sure to get tickets. Because if we miss out on her concert, I will have a public hanging on We Are Libertarians. <laughs> there wasn't even a breath in any of that, Greg. Sure wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> and we're spending at least like two hundred to three hundred dollars for tickets. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Because we bought like kind of nosebleed tickets for one eighty last like three years ago. Now, no, no, no. We're shelling out. We're getting. Yeah. I will pay somebody. I will have sex with a woman. In order to get... Oh, gee, don't threaten the world. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, no, it's so gross. No, but I will do... I will lick this floor clean. I will do everything there's in order ca- to win. Let it be known there's carpet on this floor. Aww. She wants to eat the carpet. <laughs> My, yes. You know, so Larry and his, wa- his wife's a Swiffler. Uh-huh. Or a Swifty. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Not a Swiffler. Excuse me. Uh, Tate off. Tate off. Um... <laughs> They spent three hundred eighty bucks. Like he went with her, and right. they, they eat. So he shelled out seven hundred and sixty bucks total to go at the last one in Indy. And I was just, I mean, that's a level of support as a husband that was stunning to me. Yeah, I mean, that's insane to me. But you know, what are you gonna do? I, I, I guess I guess she's a transformative figure. I don't see it, 
But I didn't see it with like Prince or the Beatles. Really, I've never I've never been a super fan of anything. There's nothing in my life that I've ever like sobbed for an hour over an external thing. Women that have left me heartbroken and in the gutter, of course, but that's because they hurt me. An album being released, I never, never had the incentive to. Like, I'm just so excited. Lose my mind. You, you never, I, oh. you don't have anything you just geek out over entirely. No, there isn't a. Th- uh, I beg to differ. What the racetrack? No, the uh, cars up are built upside down, so when they go around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I know so much about the racetrack because of dear leader here. He's looking at me very upset. He's grumpy. It's the two co two hey. genders, <laughs> two genders, two I, co-hosts. Can we buy T-shirts for my roommates because they're so offended by that? Why the two genders part? Why male they, and female? Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, but there's Wait. no reassigning a Y chromosome. Oh God, here <laughs> we go again. I'm so, it's you can. I'm so there's chop a dick off of me and add a dick to me. Those are the two procedures, but there, it doesn't do anything to the chromosomes. Just add a dick to me. Oh. There's a, a filet one, and there's a meme. Yeah, out. like a butterfly filet mignon. Yeah. <laughs> there's a meme out there of Trump where it's two scoops. Two. He's he's eating two scoops of ice cream. It's two scoops, two genders. Deal with it. Two terms. Deal with it. Right. And then it's that just deal with it. You know, the glasses come down. So it's and so. <laughs> And I think it's arguably the most funny oh, thing I've so ever funny. seen because it makes people so upset. Well, it's ridiculous that him going to an ice cream social at his own White House and requesting – everybody's only supposed to get one scoop for health and fitness. Mm-hmm. He says he wants two, and <laughs> the media <laughs> lost it. CNN, Don Lemon, Stephen it Colbert. He purpose, right? But he has he, to do it on purpose. He does not eat a healthy diet. He eats steak every single night. Yeah. He eats it with ketchup and orders it well done, and he eats french fries. Oh, like, funny. He's <laughs> like, he is the ugly American. Right. Like, to AT. And so the fact that he would want two scoops of ice cream, what American is going to be like, you know what? I just want one scoop of of uh, what's that terrible like gelato? Yeah, like no, uh. you get Rocky Road or whatever, and you, <laughs> you get, get yeah, Napolitan. yeah, or like a lemon ice pop. Exactly, like no way, right. not Donald Trump. He is the, he orders steak blue, with ketchup and like tater tots. I want blue bell ice cream. Exactly, something made in America. And he wanted two scoops, and it's so funny because they're only they're the same amount of scoops as genders. Right. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> same amount as co-hosts. Spangle and I. And yeah, when you were gone, there were only two cats. Now we have three again. <laughs> <laughs> three best friends. And we're the three best friends. There's three of us. <laughs> That's a Shakira remix. Of the... <laughs> People are writing in and saying that they they have uh, three best friends stuck in their head. Mm-hmm. And so. they are sending me so many letter bombs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Her fame is so difficult, Greg. Oh, no, I know. So difficult. Meanwhile, when you go back home, no one will care. Nobody will talk to me. No, They're... my mom's a big fan. Yeah, my mom's well, a big fan. Well, not your Oh, is she not? La- last report, no, she is. Last report, she was uh, advising her to be careful with her public image. And What did we do? I really don't remember. It was Tanner. Tanner oh, Tanner. yeah, that was Oh, God, no, it was Tanner. Tanner ruined a lot of things for us. He did, uh, yeah. Henry County has that effect on things. <laughs> and, and let me let me just, yeah. yeah Henry <laughs> County? <laughs> I'm from Rush <laughs> County. <laughs> what? Are you really? Yeah. Let me We're take... the same. We're on the same. You yeah. Eastern Indiana people. Yeah. Let me tell you about Jeremiah Morrill. Oh, wait, let me play a... The boss hog is very bossy. Mm. And he, you know, as if you heard episode uh, 204 on uh, 420, you heard Tanner expose the boss hog for the dictator that he is. Mm-hmm. And how many people are buried and fed to crocodiles in in uh, Memorial Park in Henry County, Indiana, because of Jeremiah Morrill? He threatened me. <gasps> he told me that I had to read an ad for his podcast, <gasps> or else he was going to expose me. What I don't know if mean? that means he's going to pants me. I have nothing. I have no secrets. You know, I would keep nothing from our audience. Nothing. They are you. You are them. Arguably, I should keep so many more things to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of nervous for you right now. Like, what could he possibly have? Yeah, I don't know. Typical, typical <laughs> homeschool behavior. Yes, this yes. Is a, it's a bluff. It's a see-through bluff. So, here, here we go. The Boss Hog of Liberty podcast <laughs> is the latest hit on the We Are Libertarians network. Each week, Jeremiah Morrill and Dakota Davis explore life in Henry County, Indiana. It is a show, a good show, about our circle of friends. 
sentences. 80% observation, life, humor, and 20% politics. Boss Hog of Liberty is the day-to-day -day happenings of Henry County, Indiana, which is superior to all other counties in Indiana, which is just like your community. It is safe, and no one there will hurt anyone. This is what he wrote in this. They have all the best meth. <laughs> Add them on iTunes and sample them today. Dear Leader wants you to. So make sure you Bog of Liberty Pod. Uh, it is. It is. Just go to iTunes and search We Are Libertarians, and you can find uh, a couple other podcasts. I'm going to be switching the Chris Spangle Show podcast feed soon to podcasting and platforms. And I'm going to do a podcast about podcasting, and I'm going to just basically take all the experiences I've learned over the course of the last 15 years. I've worked in radio and journalism and PR and marketing and and basically apply it to – I'm going to do a podcast on, on everything, all the mistakes that I've made. <clears throat> uh, hi. Sorry, Kat. Oh, sorry. What was that? Nothing. It's great to Beep, have – boop, boop. <laughs> I can't believe you found one of Jerry's kids. <laughs> Who's Jerry? It's a telephone. We're going to raise some money for this little window-looking bastard. Cancer. I can't. I can't believe all of your roommates hate you, Kat. God, I don't know why. It's because you left your tiki torches on after Charlottesville and nearly burnt your house down. You did. Oh, the fire. The fire of 2017, the August. Great. Horrible. What was, your, what was your roommate making? So my a roommate, Robert E. Lee statue. Oh, by the... <laughs> So they Other actually, than another sexual mistake. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, first of all, my roommates were like, side note, they're like, Are you can we watch tonight? And I'm like, um, I don't know. Cause like, you know, what if I say something terrible? You don't, you're usually pretty good. <laughs> yeah. We try to lure you into it and you usually avoid I know. it. You're scared to death of being judged by everyone. I know. I need friends somehow. But anyway, so um one night for dinner, um four of the roommates were eating outside on the porch and the other was still cooking her turkey burger. And she put a like pan of like hot oil like olive oil on the stove and left it on to like bubble. Uh. And I guess when oil bubbles it will like kinda smoke up a bit. So then <clears throat> excuse me, she puts the frozen turkey burger patty on with, with water still in it. Oh and boy. It, flames as tall as our cabinets in our microwave. Oh, if no. it would have gone even farther, it would have caught the um, cabinets on fire, we would have lost the brand new kitchen. So she comes up, opens the door for the front porch and goes, can you guys help me for a minute? We're like, yeah. Because <laughs> she's like one of those people who when she's in a crisis, she's really calm somehow. Excuse oh. me. Uh, I would. Uh, I need your assistance in the kitchen. Right. Uh, could you take a look at this for yeah. me? So we're like, oh yeah, you, you want to hang something? Because we're moving in. We're like, you want us to help you, you know, hold up the mirror straight or something? We go in and it is the fire alarm. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> smoke, thick smoke all over the house and the flames tall as the ceiling and we're like, Oh my god! What freaking out? And we're like, "What do we do? What do we do?" And our one roommate goes, "Well, put water on it." And I'm like, "No!" Because because oh, that would have made it like we would have lost the house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She so, tried to kill you, cat. I hate to say it. Oh, hindsight, did. your landlord, given it's Muncie, probably would have just loved you guys for <laughs> burning it, burning it down right? and collecting the insurance money. Right, exactly. Although it's like a really nice. I'm I'm alarmed how nice it is yeah. for Muncie. Indiana. Brand new five bedrooms to bed. Yeah, it is nice. Wow. Granite countertops, sink and vanity in every bedroom. I don't know if for you... Section Eight housing, it's really classy. <laughs> I, I don't know if you uh, have noticed this, Greg, in uh, your ventures dating into the younger women uh, age group, uh, but I have. They all use their phone when they're in the shower. They didn't, never put them down. Yeah. So yeah. I know she has the nicest shower in Muncie. Yeah. It's very nice. But anyway, so we get the fire extinguisher that we had stolen from a fraternity house last year <laughs> under the sink. It's one we? of those industrial we? we me. It's one of those industrial fire like extinguishers. We put the fire out and the foam, I didn't realize like the foam um hardens into just a, a yellow powder. Yeah. All over the all over the carpets, all over the walls, everywhere. Cuz we had cuz the fire was so big. Then Well, they didn't have they, I mean, they're like ah! I mean, they're, you know, no, right, right, no control. Right. That, right. So then no we, control. The, the fire's out, and we're like, okay, this is it. And then now I see, like, honest to God, I see why people die from the smoke and fires more than the flames. Because I went outside, and I was, like, 
literally throwing up. It fills your lungs. I couldn't, like, I was like, you can't catch a breath and and just, you want to vomit. No, I was like vomiting in the front yard. And of course, all of our neighbors were like staring out their window, like, what's going on? Like, they see us like vomiting in the front yard, smoke, you know, coming out. So we call the fire department and we were like, hey, the fire is out. We just want to be clear, the fire is out, but we need help getting the smoke out. Next thing we know, four full sized fire trucks with the ladders (laughs) going down our tiny. Every single neighbor is on the front porch. We have a giant street group. Is it mainly like other renters like that are go to Ball State or is it residential as well? Like people that live there and work there? It's mainly renters around like closest to campus, but our next door neighbor is a ninety year old woman. Oh. oh yeah, and she's like peering out like, Hey girls okay and we're like <laughs> like <laughs> coughing like smoke. Nah. We just bit nerd the place. We, just, uh, we were bit nerd. There's like smoke and like soot all over our faces. And then like, it's so dramatic. <laughs> like a Dickens novel. Yeah. And then. Oh, that's we... just those AO pies. They're having another one of their blackface parties. <laughs> oh, no. I would just like to say as a representative of my sorority, that is not true. No. But anyways, so we like the fire, that. like help us clear the smoke out. And the smell was gone in a day. I was shocked. It is. But that is a pain in the ass. Pain Especially for a brand new, just like rehabbed place. Ugh. So now my one roommate refuses and it wasn't to you. cook. No, I swear cook. She so is. she refuses to cook. To cook. So now she's been milk every night. Meal. I feel bad, so I cooked her chicken. Aww. Tostitos pizzas, baby. I lived off those. Poor oh, Jess. Still do. We have. We've, we've. I'm sorry, Jess. Talked about how great okay. Jess is. I'm enjoying hearing about Kat. Isn't mm-hmm. it? Isn't it fast? Are you? <laughs> hey, hey, you Greg. know who we are now? The four best friends. We're the four best friends. Let's There's Greggy three. and Chris and I propose Jess a trade. And <laughs> hey, here's the deal, guys. Uh, we just nothing. That, we wanted to do a podcast because we Cat wanted to come down, and Jess was already booked along with Grace. Uh, Grace Younger decided that she would not show up, even though we had put this on our calendar. You were still an intern. It was a month ago. Yeah. I'm uh, very upset with her. Gracing your uh, on my calendar. She spent the entire night at Bowers going away party. Like, why haven't I been on We Are Libertarians? Right. Why haven't I been on We Are Libertarians? And like, then started putting things out on social media how she was going to be on. And then at Bowers coming back party, it was... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's an inside joke. Sorry. Uh, yeah. So it, we we just there's nothing really striking us politically, and so this is going to be a much looser show. We'll we'll, we'll talk about Bannon here in a little bit, but. We're just kind of shooting the shit. I'm just going to be honest with you. We could talk about Trump's rally, but you guys know about Trump's rally. We could talk about Bannon quitting, and we will a little bit. Yeah. And we could talk about statues being torn down, but we covered a lot of that last week. So. Yeah, so it's just the news cycle just kind of sucks, but we wanted to make sure that we did an episode, especially in the face of your generosity, which we will cover here in just a moment. But, uh, yeah, Jess hosts a uh, former podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't done it in a long time. Called well, co-host. Call, so. Co-host called Well We Tried. But uh, you are, you're you're across the nation on radio stations. and You can find me in random markets if I'm in your city. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, I you- bet you can't find me. <laughs> but maybe you can. Yeah. What What's your uh, Twitter if people want to follow you? You can follow me on the the Twitter on uh, it's J N Alsman and that's A L S M A N, which is not pronounced Alsman like former college roommate from Michigan. She could not say Alsman for anything. I think it was a northern thing. She'd be like Alsman. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, it's Alsman. Did she like when she would tell you where she lived? Did she point it there at her hand? No. Actually, I think she did. That's yeah, so the, oh, annoying. I'm here. I'm here. Here's the mitten. Exactly. It was Ann Arbor. She was cl- close to Ann Arbor. That though. is, I will say, that is one of the coolest towns I've ever been to. So when I went up there to visit, it was great because we had to go party. Right. And that is, like, that is such a fun downtown. Except I'd be like, can you say ball? She'd be like, ball. <laughs> and I'd be like, can you say Alsman? Alsman! I'm like, okay, Maybe she was just really fucking stupid. No, she's, <laughs> she was amazing. So I was lucky. I had cool people to hang out with in college, unlike Aww. the people that hate crime, Kat <laughs> and her sorority. I'm, they are waging jihad on me. And when I say that, <laughs> they get mad at me. <laughs> They're just like, um, we're like so pretty. We work really hard watching all these YouTube tutorial videos, and we should be on the Insta to show that off. Like, we can... Con- or is it contour? Contour. And we can bake. That's actually and... very funny because one of my roommates, Jordan, she always does makeup. She's like, Kitty Cat, watch a makeup video with me. I watch it. And, and this is the best clearly, thing you didn't watch it. Clearly, I didn't watch it. <laughs> but let me say, your brows look amazing. Tonight. I got them uh, waxed. Yeah. And I went home. I also got my hair done. Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't notice the hair. It looked the uh, the brows. I noticed the brows. They're on 
Fleek. Thank you. Really? Are we still doing Fleek? I don't know. No, like fidget spinners are out already. Really? No no fidget spinners are out. Damn it. Yeah. They're banned. My nephew cannot take to his uh, eighth grade class. Oh. Well, we put them in their vaginas. Now they just use autism cages. Oh. Oh, my God. God. Autism. Look at you laugh at yourself. I say that to my elementary sister all the time. In cages, and I'd go around and hit it with sticks. <laughs> so they call put me in my squeeze machine. And, I, and she's like, "How? What?" She was like, "How? How do I handle these crazy kids?" I'm like, "It's simple. Public shame. Whoever is acting up, you get everybody in a circle. You say, guess what we're gonna do? <laughs> About how much of a loser you are, and make that kid sit in a chair in the middle of the room.' <laughs> oh my and, and, god! And then Aww. she was like, oh, "That might work." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, His sister is like one of the nicest human beings on the planet. His parents are great. Incredible. I don't know how he ended up like this. So, like, my mom <laughs> morphed my cage. dad. My dad's very much like me. My mom, like, mellowed him. Right. And I just, I, you got to have, you know, there's got to be harmony. You got to balance things out. The great equalizer. There are these <laughs> wonderful people. I, uh, I'm on a know, podcast. I'm right. a little, you know, I'm Neo Hitler. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, they didn't, he didn't do anything wrong. The Jews, scum. No, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> All right, say, I you, love the hey, Jews. Say that was a joke. I was obviously yeah, that's a, a joke. We had to take a pledge last week. You, he, you missed, he made us all go around. The, what is it? We we began by just announcing a that we like the Jews. Mm-hmm. No, we had to pledge that we liked the Jews. Pledge <laughs> and tell the truth. We ju we ju choo signaled. Yeah. And, well, Greg obviously lied in his. <laughs> <laughs> I love Jesus. <laughs> is what he Didn't said. Didn't want to kill him. <laughs> and second, Great Jew. And secondly, we announced what race we would like to be if we could choose to be any other race. Mm-hmm. Oh. What would you be? Well, I, this is very true. As much as I make jokes, love Jew- Jewish. Love them. Um, Let's see. My, and I've always, like, respected them. God's chosen people. That's not a race. Oh, yeah. That's no, no, our I'm religion. Just about, I'm just going on the G thing. But let's see. If I could be any She just wants race, it clear. As so a, you, wanting as a, a Hebrew? She wants a career in entertainment, so she needs this on the record. Right, oh. exactly. Um, no, I think, honestly, if I could be any... <laughs> <laughs> if I could be any other race... Um, Honestly, I'd pick Middle Eastern. I'm not going to lie. What? Yeah. You'd be gone because I chose to eliminate the Arabs. However, mm-hmm. no, well, you can be Arab or Persian. Which would you be? I don't know. I don't know the difference. Do Here's you want to blow yourself up with a suicide vest? Or no. do you want to like live in Tehran and, you know, well, it's okay. a pretty cool city. Not necessarily like Middle Eastern like that. Well, okay. I guess I would choose to be like Egyptian or like Northern African or something One of the good like ones. That. Right, <laughs> one of the good ones, like no. Israeli, like Wonder Woman, the uh, actress. Of, like, yeah, I want to be something like that. That's Gorgeous. Jewish, is it? Oh, I think she's Israeli. I just slammed. They're her like the prettiest girls. Try the what? opposite of. Oh, Matt what? Matt Whitliff inexplicably said Micronesian or something. He did. Well, Malaysian. you know, it's under the radar. Right. I just think like I think like people from Egypt and like the other like North. Mm-hmm. Jess, Love them. Well, Great food. That you are. I am. Uh, oh my gosh, I'd probably be like African American. I would be black all day long. I would love it because you. First off, they're hilarious because either they're being sassy or they're mean. Miss Pat. Either way, it doesn't matter. They can be mean to you, and you're like, "Oh, girl, you're joking." I'm like, "No, I really hate you so much. I'm gonna kill you." <laughs> By kill, I mean like run over. I can't think of anything clever to say. Oh, run over you. like at Charlottesville. Wow, great no, job, no, Jess. Like, great run over work. Like a- uh, your bag full of like, I can't think of it. Oh. Your magic tricks. Uh. I'm gonna take your pee bottle. <gasps> no, no, please. I can't think of any clever. No, I like Harry is the biggest nerd out of all of us. Still cooler than each and every one of us mm-hmm. in our group. He's got swag. Yeah, we so. can't match his swag. You're just cooler. I feel like yeah. I can't dance. No Will, rhythm. Will Smith, dork, still way cooler than any white guy you know. Ooh, honestly, I might be Asian as well. Uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> we're not going down that road. Oh, don't be mean. Stop, Stop Greg. Greg was no. pulling apart his. Shh. Sorry. Shh. I had an. <laughs> On both you. eyes at the yeah, same time. I did. Okay. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I I had I sixteen by nine cropped my eyes for a second. Leave me oh, alone. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> Greg, that was. Things you ever said that was so quick. I had an itch <laughs> on both eyes at the same time. I think the same opposite corner. Oh God! I'm going to hell. Uh, I'm losing all of my yeah, friends. You are. <laughs> all of your friends. 
Speaking oh. of all of my friends, can I ask something very important sure. of my dear friend Greggy? Greggy, Catherine. what are you doing on November 18th? It's a Saturday. I do not. I'll look right now. He has an abortion planned. Uh, oh, he's, he's got God. one scheduled. It's been a, it's a big it's moment. Not even his kid. He's just nope. somebody he's, other. He's just getting it scraped. Gross. Nothing on the 18th. 18th. Just for the record, everyone listening at home, Greg Lenz is free November 18th <laughs> on Saturday. She got you. Yeah. Would you be my date to our new member? <laughs> yes. Be your date to your new member. Hey, oh. Kappa Sigma and AOPI meet. That is at what Kappa time? That was me. <gasps> It'd be All like right. a nine o'clock thing. Okay. So you'd All have right. to be in Muncie at like six. Okay. So maybe five. Jess, oh my Jess, God. I feel like I should be insulted. You so should it's be. It's because, you he's, know, it's because he's Greek. Nope. Oh, you, because he's Greek? Right. Because I wasn't cool enough to have a sorority? Who who I, has done more? You you witnessed how much I did for Kat. I did. Yeah. I a did. lot, That right? I did. Well, I'm inviting you to our Influential Men's Day. Influential <laughs> Men's Day. It's our uh, dad's day. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, well, it's dad, brother, like friend. I just got dad, brother, and friend zoned all at the same time. If you were in Greek life, I would bring both of you guys. Actually, but I still might see if I can bring you two. I want to. I'll be Rachel's date. Oh, <laughs> we don't have a sister name. Anyway, so my question is: I know I keep playing with this. Oh, like, oh stop! Stop. <laughs> okay. I love her. Oh God. <laughs> so, no, so say what you're about to say, Kat. What, no. What are you about to say? I was gonna say I'll bring you as my date when I. No, I don't. I don't need second hand me downs. Oh uh, man. <laughs> I'm gonna, be... I really am gonna see if I can get to. to no, no, it's fine. I don't need a penny advice. Why can't you bring two <laughs> dates? Why can't you bring two? Because the last girl that brought two dates... She well, okay, made a society. video. She and made a video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> the library didn't appreciate well, what she did. Well, pornography is... <laughs> oh, it's two dates, and if they're going to judge you, the society that you want to bring two people, because that's what you believe in, then whatever. I'm a thruple. Yeah? <laughs> uh, I've always wanted to be in a thruple. <laughs> well, <laughs> three best friends. Actually, we because you love Mormons. Yeah. Uh, don't even get me started. I found the Mormon house, the off-campus university. I was driving it in the car with my friend past it, and I said, <gasps> stop and reverse. And she, like, threw the car in reverse. And I Jesus. Does she not get every single time she's on this show, Greg? <laughs> Mormons. I love Mitt Romney, them. honestly, right? Mittens. Great guy. I want to wear Mittens. his temple garment. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. It protects you from bullets. Yeah, it does. <laughs> and actually, it can and be lit on fire, so it would have been really clutch had you had it earlier this week. Right. Je- Jess, you're not it Mormon. Are you? against I'm not, caffeine. but Mormons are cool because they can drive you home after a party because they don't drink. Right. Right. right? They're constant DD. Milk. <laughs> Here's some milk. <laughs> <laughs> they don't drink coffee. No, I feel like coffee? Greg they is don't. laughing harder at every joke today than ever before. I, I, am... I think he's missed you, Cat. Aww. Oh, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Baby steps. It's, no. it, he didn't want you to sign the posters. I did too. I'm the one that presented him. <laughs> you really not? No. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Give me my Tumblr app. <laughs> When's that single? Uh, <laughs> what posters, though? Are you, so, so yeah, so we have, uh, I have to be honest, I did not expect what happened this week. Uh, so we've always, I've always talked for, like, for a year about how I'm going to get my stuff together, and I'm going to the reward system on Patreon and make sure that we set up a system where we're thanking all the people that have given to us. We had 43 people giving a month. Uh, we had... Um, couple hundred dollars a month coming in 103 people over the course of two years and so so i set what i thought were like unreal uh there's furious typing going on to my left she's she's furious what's what's wrong nothing there later all right <laughs> and uh so i set these lofty goals on patreon and i've been looking for like a member system and i've done a couple months of research and I just decided, you know what, we're, we're switching all to Patreon. It's the best system out there for people who do what we do, for us to engage with our fans and you guys to support the program so we can do more. And so I put these goals that I thought were like, there's no way we're ever going to hit these. Like, yeah, we'll get 250 
and then we'll get a special bonus segment. But that'll maybe be like three or four mo- months down the road. Well, we sit here four, four days later with uh, a, a monthly uh, revenue of four hundred and fifteen dollars a month. Wow, stunning! With that's amazing. Forty-eight people donating, and we haven't even gotten to all the people who had been donating on PayPal and uh, some of the other Patreon people. So. Uh, to say we're blown away, so now we have a problem. What so, is that? I s- Not we. <coughs> we <laughs> don't have any problem at Greggy. all, actually. In fact, no. Greggy. <laughs> no, no, no. You two have a lot of fun at your formal. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't feel bad. So I set the. Uh, I said at 250, we will add a special bonus segment for our subscribers. Ticked that off in about an hour and a half. Oh, wow. Which is insane. And then at $500, I said we'd add a sep- second episode per week. We were really close to hitting that, and that is <laughs> – we weren't qu- – uh, so. Which it isn't a huge problem at all. We just are always stunned that there's that much demand for our opinions. Right. This week, we would really have nothing to talk about. Uh, I mean, we probably could have found something, but we really don't have much to talk about uh, figure out. But – so I set it at 500, and I'm wondering if I should take that up to 750 to give us a little more time to prepare. If the audience will meet that demand, or if we should just do what I think we should have done a year ago and add a second episode a week. What do you What do you guys think? You got to honor your word, right? Second episode a week in Muncie, Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, (laughs) maybe all right well this has been fun guys (laughs) i have a feeling your roommates may not be quite as excited about that prospect she facetimed me the other day and i said hi to a couple of the roommates and they couldn't have been less pleased to talk to me so angry they (laughs) i uh the you know like when you talk to women Uh that's the face that i got (laughs) i never get that face it's trust me a bad special guy (laughs) there it is I'm an acquired taste, and I know this about myself. Yes. But I got along well with Jackie. Yeah, that was hilarious. Yeah, she's cool. Yeah, so, all right. And then uh, Chris Galt just said in the, in the private chat that he's down to help. We've got, we've got like 20 people here in town. We could do a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I put it at 750. I'm changing it back. If we hit 500, we're going to do a second episode per week. Jess is right. We're going, I'm going to honor my word. Aww. Yeah, what are you, First a dirty politician? Ever. Except. Oh. It's good. <laughs> oh no! At a thousand, I said we had a daily show. Mm-hmm. I am changing that to fifteen hundred, mm-hmm. and I will tell you that that is that's impossible. That is an uh, that is a level of work that I would need to do. I would have to do this full time to uh, to do a daily episode. And fifteen hundred is not. It's just not possible. It, I think fifteen hundred is possible. I think all these goals. No, are no, no. I meant impossible. to do a daily show on fifteen hundred a month. Is impossible. Exactly yeah. right. Uh, the economics don't work out. But the podcasting and platform podcast, download the Chris Spangle f- show feed. It's going to convert to that. That I'm going to monetize as well. I'm doing some side consulting. And, you know, I make a great living at Bob and Tom. I love Bob and Tom. I have, I have no plans to leave there anytime soon. Um, but when, you know, eventually I will want to transition and do this full time. And I've got to have an income. If I, if you guys want a daily show, you you've got to you've got to pony up. So, do you think we should adjust that goal up from fifteen hundred for a daily show? I don't. I don't think that's. Yeah, I do. Uh, all right. Yeah. Okay. All just, right. just because, like, that's at a level of work that's just. It, honestly, it's hard to do weekly content that's good. We could just yep. sit and blather on and be like you know most podcasts that kind right. of putter out. But like, we do quite a bit of research on our shows, so it'd be right. really tough for us to do that. Yeah. Uh, so, and uh, our notes are usually 15 pages long. Nice. They literally, you wouldn't know. That. Right. Mm-hmm. I know. No, it's serious. Like if you go and look at the show notes, of we are libertarians. So, uh, Harry is advising me. So we're going to adjust the daily. Uh, I, I, at 2,500 put, we will be able to rent and build our own studio. And I definitely want to do that at some, point. uh, I, I, I love having you guys all in my apartment every week for several hours on a Thursday night and then if it's two nights a week man that just gets uh that gets uh, uh a studio would be great so maybe we'll uh, just flip flop those two um and then 5000 we will hire our first employee to constantly feed you unique content that our audience will love i may be that employee but uh <laughs> it's time to start hiring some people to you know run the website and to help edit 
Like, I can't tell you how underwater I am in terms of uh, just the wall the stuff. The technical elements. Trying trying to get all the video edited, all the podcast edited, all the back-end Guess tech But I will tell you that what you guys have allowed me to do with the with the 400 a month that you guys have donated over the last few days, I'm able to go and hire out some people on a con a subcontractor basis, and that's nothing I would have ever been able to do. So some of that back end technical stuff, all the management of the website, the tedious stuff, the tedious just stuff, is time consuming. Yeah, I've been able to kind of hire some of that stuff out. So you guys are helping save time, which I can put more effort into content as opposed to managerial uh bullshit uh so at five thousand we're gonna we're gonna bring on some people to uh really amp this up now <clears throat> here's where it gets good or i not, cannot believe you put yourself out there or like not this. or not good it Wait depends it's good for the audience <laughs> not for why is everyone looking at me no we're no. good we're totally we have no part in this if we hit ten thousand a month I just got distracted by Aaron Ewert saying back end stuff is the best. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, Aaron. <laughs> if we hit 10,000 a month, I'm going to go full James Weeks the second and strip during an episode. No, no, no. You're doing it at the National Convention. No, no, no. Uh, I didn't say that. I, I know, but I think that. that's what people would want. Yeah. No, I would do it at. Like, how naked? Uh, he Whitey had on a thong. Whitey Tidy. He had on a thong. Ew. And he did this on C SPAN. People are shocked Jesus. Gary Johnson didn't get 5%. I would do it at Morty's on stage. Please don't do it. That's that is <laughs> that's it. You'll do it at Morty's yep. on stage. You'll come out and do, you know, something tasteful. Yes. <laughs> With a boa, <laughs> preferably. <laughs> you know, something, something sexy. Yeah, tassels yeah, and <laughs> yeah. Something that spins somewhere. <laughs> that was in an episode, My Dignity. It's a fair price. I do, too. To be quite honest. I do, too. So... That's just, that is, uh, I would love to see that. So, because people have no how, you know, how limber you are. And, <laughs> Show the folks. No, I mean, if you watch Spangle do uh, karaoke, he's quite And Aww. so I would think that, actually, I've seen you at Casba. I know you have wicked moves. Graceful. I've seen you, you know, you were, uh, you were scaring some of, or making some of Harry's friends insecure on the I'm dance floor. so good. I'm yeah. a great dancer. The black guys were getting insecure. For a uh -oh. large man, <laughs> I have I have great hip flexibility. <laughs> it's all in the hips. The guy rating hips. I'm jealous. Guy rating. So, uh, withdraw or triple his donation. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's a question I think many people will yeah. be facing. <laughs> so, so these these are the goals. Uh, subject to change here in the next twenty four hours, but then then we're gonna set them. But I I'd never I didn't as usual per usual discuss any of this with Greg. Why not? Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm phased out. Yeah. Being phased out. Yeah. <laughs> People told me that they. <laughs> All the time. Yeah. Yes. That was yeah the same. The just... boys love me. The ladies so 15, love me. a month. She'll strip. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, no. I did wear a bodysuit. There's your dog. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. No, I did wear Friday night. I wore a bodysuit. A bodysuit. Yeah. It was the most scariest thing I've ever done. How are there no pictures of this? Because <laughs> I did not. Wait, did you have pants over the bodysuit? Yeah, jeans or, okay. over the bodysuit. So it's like, oh, first out. Grade. You like wore it out. Yeah, I wore it out. Uh, and I it gotcha. was because I wasn't like, I got dressed to go out, and all my friends were like, you look like you're going to church. So then I was like, well, I, what, what do I wear? Like a, another pocket t shirt? And then um, I wear those a lot. My one roommate said, let's put you in a bodysuit. And she put me in it, and I was like, <gasps> Oh no! I th I could not wear it, and then I walked out. Explain and what a bodysuit is for our male. It's like a modern partner. corset, right? More like a one-piece swimsuit. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then over it, you put on jeans. Okay. But so it snaps where? Like, how does it? It's, it's one, like a leotard. But it does snaps. You yeah. got to pee. You can just snap yeah. at the bottom. Uh, okay. Which, sneak the bottom. 
Right. That's what she <laughs> <laughs> in the body suit, you can't even see the bottle. But it's you just those, look hung. Right, right. <laughs> but it's one of those things like basic girls wear it. Yeah, I would yeah. never wear it, and I did. Back in my day, we wore that in kindergarten in first grade. You start the day with it snapped. By the time you go to the restroom first time, right. you never snap it back because your you, mom wasn't there to snap you. You were like... <laughs> In the sexually 90s. exploiting yourself in first grade? No, body suits because it was like a little one <laughs> She was a cam girl. <laughs> and it had little frills on it, but it, was, oh, it would snap oh, oh, at the oh, bottom. Oh, oh, oh. God, God, and then you yeah. wear your pants, so when you wear your corduroy bibs, you got your body suit on. <laughs> she's just, she's she's saying she gave up at a very early age. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I had to snap them Were you back. the Rush hmm. County Fair Queen? I never was, but my bestie was. Oh, okay. Actually, yeah, our class won a lot of the Fair Queens. <laughs> Jess, we rock. Careful with that. 2005. Jess is uh, you're banging and it's oh yeah picked up. Oh, uh, it? So Jess, you are you are the nerd correspondent, geek culture. Sure. At Bob and Tom, you I... are you you love you wore your uh, political shirt. You can see on the it's YouTube as channel. Close as political as I can get. It's which beautiful. Is, which it's, is a what? It's the Watchmen. So I got the little comedian button. Obviously, the comedian is murdered in the Watchmen, but it says spoiler alert. Oh my gosh, it's been out for a while, guys. There might even be a TV show again. But it says, like, who's watching The Watchmen? See? How political. It is. It's very libertarian. Who is watching The Watchmen? It's very surveillance. Having thing. people accountable. Yep. What is, uh, your, what is your favorite uh, nerd series? Right now is The Walking Dead. But I am obsessed with Game of Thrones, too. So I came and handled the season finale coming up on Sunday. I saw. I at the stacked pickle earlier that looked just like the Greyjoy that got his wiener cut off. And I oh, thought, no. how unfortunate for Exactly like the Andre Joy. Um, yeah. Freak. Can I say something? No. Yeah. I was on Tinder because I was on Tinder again. That's so. Doesn't he look? Oh my god! It looks like him. Like that dude had his wiener cut off in real life. He got I, bobbed in. Oh, he okay. also Keanu Reeves and uh, John Wick. Oh, right, right, right. So no. who'd you meet on Tinder? No, I went. On, I my like Tinder like came back up because I meant back accidentally. <laughs> Look at this kid. Tell me he does not look like Jimmy Fallon. Oh, my God. He looks just like, <laughs> just a, like Jimmy yeah, Fallon. Yes, he looks like a stoner version. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. wow. I saw that. I screenshotted that right away. Shocking. Wow. You got a text. How, how's Tinder going? Um, well, I'm not, like, actually, like, using it. But I just, like, noticed that my, like, app was going off. Like, we see that you're back at, like, Muncie, Indiana. Like, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of holes in this story. Oh my gosh! Oh, here's the picture. You remember of- when I used to fake, like all because you made, like we played it up like a uh, you made me get on Tinder and then like I would find the most awful, <laughs> yes. disgusting people I could find and then be like, thanks, Spengel, thanks a lot, and it was <laughs> trans. <laughs> you were the one that didn't swipe. You swiped on me and then you never called. Oh, oh my god! No, he would get on. He would find local Tinder people, find the most atrocious people he could, and then put them on his. And then phone. swipe Aww. right and hope to spark Those up a people conversation. People just want love. They did. They were very aggressive about it. Oh. Yeah. So I have two pictures. They're two selfies from the night of I wore the bodysuit, and I'm going to show you guys them. You can't really see anything, but I forgot the most important part of my outfit was a choker, like a black choker. This is the night. Roommates refer to the choker because there's a big, like, gaping circle, like, metal circle in it. And mm-hmm. it's, we either call it the um, I Love Anal Choker, <laughs> or we call it <laughs> the choker that means, <laughs> I can't even. It's, I mean, it's black, belt, it's a fucking dick. dick, yeah. yeah. Is oh, that man. what you were going to say? Ta da! Not Kitty something cat, cat and Agnes would wear. I've never have cleavage before i know i usually wear a turtleneck and you look so uncomfortable i can't even stand it i'm very uncomfortable look at you let me see the other one you can't wear that to sunday school no you look nice thank you you look uncomfortable and out of character but thank you did would you wear it again um maybe well i had to date for the formal (laughs) you're not gonna show him the pictures of your cleavage here greggy but yeah, so I just thought that was interesting. So much has happened, you guys. I burned a house down. <laughs> I don't do a unite the I, night. I got a black <laughs> I got a black belt and sucking dick. Yeah. <laughs> I love anal. I think the correct oh, I'm sorry, the correct terminology was the I do anal choker. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Obviously. That's Gaping. so that's a re- you knew that too? It's the international sound for anal. Obviously. No, I just know that gr- you know, the choker, like if you if a girl wears a choker, I'm gonna be attracted to her. Let's put it that way. Really? Yeah. You, For real? If a girl wears a choker, generally, you don't know if you're going to wake up with a knife next to your throat. <laughs> and that is, like, your thing. 
And then you go for the Lohan types. And then honestly, the stepsisters too. <laughs> after seeing the cat screaming over Taylor Swift video, crazy. You should, it you makes sense. Probably, you should probably wear the choker more often. Hey, and you know who Uh-oh. else was wearing a choker? Taylor Swift in her <sighs> album cover. How many more hours do we have? What is it? Re- We're almost done. Oh. No, no, yeah. no. I meant for the drop. Oh my god. Um, it is. Let's see. Eight to nine, nine to ten, ten to eleven, eleven, like three and a half. <gasps> Ooh. Will I be driving home? Can I live do it? Can I live stream sure. it? Sure. Okay. Uh, She's going to live do it, guys. That's <laughs> all I heard. Not live. With a choker. All right. So <laughs> so the, the levels, uh, so getting back to the fundraising stuff, to the uh, subscription service, we're, we're changing the way that we distribute some of the content. The show's still going to be free, but uh, there's going to be some catches to some of the stuff that we've been doing. Uh, at a dollar a month, we give you a thank you on Twitter. And we're going to give you some behind-the-scenes information in an email. Um, you know, a dollar per listener at, out of 8,000 listeners, I don't think that that's unreasonable. That'll, no. help, that'll help us get to 10,000. You can see me naked. Uh, You're, you'll be clothed. Oh, you won't see my dog. He'll be robed. Yeah, right. yeah, this isn't the James Nay showing up five minutes early special. This is, you right. Know. And then uh, at Citizen, uh, $5 per month, the, the first level is Yeoman. Okay, you're you're not a plebe like any of you listeners that don't donate. Uh, <laughs> at five dollars a month, you're a citizen and you get everything previously, but you also get early access to the podcast, which is now going to be published on Monday morning. All right. Normally we drop it Friday, Saturday ish if uh, I don't don't get to it. But people at the five dollar per month level are now going to get the show on Friday. Everybody else is going to get it on Monday. And there's also going to be a private RSS feed that we're going to put some bonus audio in there. Like right now, you can go hear the actual audio of Joe Ruiz asking Je- Julie Borowski how many licks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. <laughs> uh, innocently, yet not. <laughs> he, he got trolled by our audience. He thought it was an innocent question, but they didn't. So, And then Aww. she was like, I'm not going to answer that. So check that out. Uh, the nobility at ten dollars per month, you get access to a special Facebook group called Dear Leaders Court, and uh, we're going to live stream the Thursday night episode uh, to those people. So you get the you get the show on Thursday night if you want, and then you can go back and watch the video. And then on Friday, people at the five dollar level get the show, and then everybody else on Monday. At twenty five dollars a month, we're going to give you two posters. One will be autographed. And one will not be autographed, so you can hang the one that is not autographed on your wall, and the other one, I don't know what you do with it. You just wait and see. Just wait and you see. You just wait and see, and, you know, maybe Harry will become president of the United States. The, right. the saucers that Kat's eyes became when you said, autograph these, she's like, it's finally happened. <laughs> finally. She did the years. hair flip and, like, immediately sat down and got professional. And I was like... <laughs> Uh, Who should I make it up to? <laughs> <laughs> Why is there another signature on it? <laughs> and, and then at this level, we're going to give you access to a forthcoming database of memes that Greg is working on. I've got 760-ish so far. Oh, my god! Oh, if, if it is the most tedious, mind-numbing task of all time. But I forgot how funny some of the memes are. Yep. I, I'm... I I, re- I can't believe some of the ones that I had forgotten about that are just <laughs> outstanding. So at the $25 per month level, you're going to get that. We're going to thank you on our Facebook page of 86,000 people. We're going to give you free tickets to our live shows. The next one is 9-11. And then... <laughs> something big planned. You're going it's going to be explosive. Don't fly tomorrow, fam. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to get discounts to the forthcoming store. So uh, sign up at that level and... Uh, and uh, $10 a month and up, we're going to give you a thank you on the show. We'll do that at the end of every show. And Emperor's Circle. These are the very special people. And we have one person, Jason Doolittle, who has joined this level. So Jason Doolittle is our favorite listener. $100 <gasps> per month. You get it. You get And I need to create this. Don't let me forget to do this tomorrow, Greg. You get eternal afterlife. He gets Aww. full <laughs> access to the group chat. We've talked about the legendary group no. chat. Not, no. No, we're creating a separate, okay, okay. We're uh. creating a separate group chat <laughs> with not everybody from the Wall family because some of those people don't belong in there. Uh, and we're go- <laughs> it's going to be called Dear Leaders Chambers. And uh, <laughs> you get to you get to chat with us as much as you want, and then after two months of donating, you get a guest spot on the show. So boom! That that is what we are doing uh, for the people that donate.
P, please go sign up at uh, Patreon. It's patreon.com slash we are libertarians. Uh, if you're hearing this after, you know, a couple days, <laughs> like, honestly, most of you, the website will be back up. But uh, the, the, the promise of the money that we are going to get on the first of the month, I was able to upgrade us to uh, our, our own server. It's optimized for WordPress hosting. It's going to make the site faster. It's going to make, uh, make the downloads memes clearer. faster. The memes Ooh. are going to be clear. So, and that's mm. all that really matters. So, Hi, Rez. When you guys uh, invest in us, then I put it right back into doing more stuff to get more listeners. So uh, $200 to strip on an episode. There's <laughs> a month, and you can strip on every uh, We're an hour and seven talk to any politics I'm sorry. Cat and putty. i sat He's all over my band <laughs> <Look at that. laughs> oh, oh my god an embarrassment. Oh, oh my god it's like she sat in gum it's coming off though oh uh, here let me help you get you it. literally have autism on it's your like leg tack. <laughs> it's like it's like i know it's, yeah. it's coming off ice it's cubes. Just like yeah, peanut butter fine. or something <laughs> ice cubes ice cubes but right? i actually yeah. consume some <laughs> 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 You're done. So, Greg, uh, we we should put some politics into this no, episode. I'm so uh, sorry. Sure. We, the podcast I'm back is a piece of crap. It, it's it's. Listen, there are people that are going to hate it, and that's what? fine. We promise that next week we always promise to be better. Uh, next week we will be back with in depth analysis, but uh, we just couldn't do it, guys. Just couldn't do it this week. I mean, do you want, like the big thing was Spain and like, oh God, look, ISIS did another suicide bombing. Surprise. Right. You know what I mean? Like, oh gee, Trump said something racist. Now let's be clear. <laughs> Both sides just are correct. culpable. <laughs> they're, they're, you know, the, just because it's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Those two aren't mutually exclusive. Although I did think it was, did you watch it? Did anybody watch no. Trump's rally? No. So Sheriff Joe very likely could be a, a fe going to federal prison. Okay. And it's for, sort of expected that Trump is going to pardon him regardless. And so he, he sort of let the cat out of the bag that I would just say, I'm not going to break the news tonight, but you have nothing to worry about. <laughs> like just vintage apprentice. just And it was so beautiful. And it, it was him and his element. I, I, Tyler Weiss and I, or Tad Western and I were watching it together. And it was so fun to watch because – I just knew everyone was going to be so outraged and upset. It was going to be phenomenal. Right. You know, and that that's the big news story this week. Steve Bannon being ousted. Um, or, well, he submitted his resignation, actually, before Charlottesville. And then he thought it would have been in bad taste to compete with that news cycle. Important. Um, yeah. You know, that ended up being and how tragic. So he ended up waiting and then submitted his resignation. And it's been sort of conflicting reports on why uh, why he ultimately decided to leave. He forced out, and if you believe the mainstream, you know, media like Washington Post and fake news, the, well, no, just people that are considered or insiders and plugged in in D.C. It was that he had lost out as the leading voice on policy and, and opinions, and to, his his to at, Kushner, no, to McMaster, oh. and so like with Afghanistan and Trump deciding to stay after wanting to leave, and really just the globalist one. I mean, to put it. I know that sounds Alex Jonesian and right. whatever, but like the nationalist worldview that Bannon has of leave the rest of the world alone, let's focus on ourselves, let's rebuild, and let's make America great again has been. There is no one else except for maybe Stephen Miller in the White House still preaching that, and he gospel. won't be. He won't be long. I don't. I, he is that guy. God, like, I. I am. He. He writes Trump so well because it's a speechwriter, right? And so that's the one thing that might keep him still around. Is he? No one writes Trump better than Stephen Miller. Yeah. You know, he just understands his vernacular and his rantings and ravings, and does a really good job of bringing him to like a, a fever pitch. Right. John Kelly seems like he's just not going to put up with a lot of nonsense, especially from this young whippersnapper. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like it, it is a new and conventional Trump, which kind of sucks. Right. You know, because it's, it's a Republican. It's a, a Jeb Bush. We were joking before the show. Jess loves Jeb Bush. Only person in America <laughs> Jeb, that wants... Jeb, exclamation point. She, <laughs> wants, <laughs> she wants his guac bowl, which is, <laughs> which is so racist and offensive that a white bush would try to sell a guac bowl because he married a Colombian woman. Uh, I think he would just had good intentions. Oh, God. Little Jebby. He's like Ned Flanders.
<laughs> What's going on? I just it? got a text message. This is Nice. I am at BSU. <laughs> oh, God. He's going to kill me. No, Nice is totally harmless. Yeah. Have you ever met James Nice? I haven't. You haven't lived. He's haven't lived. 4chan incarnate. Yeah, I'm scared. Okay. Do you know what 4chan is? Nope. You probably don't. Nope, nope, nope. It's we a don't meme talk about sewer. It. Okay. Yeah. Don't, don't talk about it. No, they're going to come for us. It's okay, Kat. They're going to come for us. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Too much time on Tinder this one. No. You're already sticky on it in the backside of your life. <laughs> Ew, uh, I am <laughs> coming off. Is it not? I <laughs> feel <laughs> <laughs> the autism sticking. My jeans. <laughs> we'll. we'll Bend you over and unstick you later. Uh, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, like I, for me, it's like the most depressed I've I've been because I I absolutely love Steve Bannon. Like that was the whole reason. Like I got behind Trump and loved Trump because he like his personal motto. I'm reading his book right now called or the book about how he forged Trump into a success, and it's called Devil's Bargain. His personal motto is "Honey Badger, don't give a fuck." Right, <laughs> and so he wears like he's an enormous slob. So he wears two polo shirts with an Oxford over it, cargo shorts, and flip flops every day. Yeah. And then if he needs to dress up, he puts on a blazer over all that. <laughs> 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 and so he's just like the ultimate. I don't give a fuck. You guys are all wrong, and you're stupid. And this is what we're gonna do. Right. And he's really like he really has like a consistent worldview. It's really brilliant, actually, mm -hmm. but it's very dark, and it's very not, you know, the status quo and what people accept. And it was, you know, I think you can get to libertarianism for the short term through nationalism for a little while. By getting out of wars, you know, if we're going to spend money, we might as well fix our infrastructure because we're going to spend it. Right. You know, we might as well untangle ourselves from a bunch of crap, and if we're going to have free trade, we might as well focus on having a level playing field. That's the closest we're going to get. Right. And so I just thought there were a lot of ways to get to more libertarian policies through Steve Bannon. It just It's soul-crushing that there's this guy that had defeated all these arrogant sons of bitches in Washington, D.C., that just think they know everything and they're smarter than everybody and that, you know... No, there's not. Nation states are ridiculous. We're all just going to kumbaya and hold hands. And, like, you know, if you look at the reaction to Charlottesville, technically he adopted a jihad act. He drove right. a car into a crowd, which is what ISIS is doing in Europe. He's a white supremacist, Nazi loving, awful individual. When ISIS does it, well, you just need to be more accepting of their culture. Right. They're apologists. And so he calls them out on it. And, like, at the end of the day, they're both terrorists. They're both waging jihad, you know. Yeah. And if I'm going to wage jihad, I'm doing it on Antifa. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, and so he has been this whole strain of like a brand new philosophy in American politics that is so exciting. And now he's gone and it's a. Bushites. Right. And Trump was supposed to represent the polar opposite of all that. So now all I get is him looking at the eclipse. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, without glasses. I know. Did you see that? Hilarious. Which every single like, okay, here's the thing you the were the ultimate eclipster. I I love. I thought it I was thought, so overrated. It was. It was how brave. <laughs> honestly, watching the eclipse in Indiana was like having an orgasm on antidepressants. It was so much. Clonopin yeah. specifically. It was <laughs> clonopin specifically. It was still an orgasm, so it's better than like not having one. But it was just like. It was cloudy in Muncie, so I couldn't even see it. Yeah. Like, Did you go outside and look? Okay. First of all, went outside, <clears throat> and it was so dark and cloudy outside, and I was like, oh, God. And everybody was being crazy. Like, people were, like, in the streets, like, it's an eclipse. It's an eclipse, guys. Like, in their cereal boxes. And uh, I tried to look at the their sun. Cereal boxes. Yeah, they made the pinhole. Yeah. yeah, we did that in third grade. We did. Yeah. Well, my class probably didn't because your class ruined everything for my <laughs> class. <laughs> no, and I tried to look, and I like looked up, and my eyes like really hurt for the whole day. But here's the problem: <laughs> it's not because I did looked. You Under the pressure, please leave the pictures up to like professional photographers. Um, take all pets inside. If you like go outside, what? Or no, they made it Your sound pets like don't usually look at the sun, no, right? They, they made that. it sound like terrifying. Like, like, no, not you. Our classes all got out early because they're like, 
not because you guys like want to watch the clips because some of you might not but like i just want you all to get home safely so my roommates and i were all like are we gonna be okay like yeah is this all right they, they did that they like it swear yeah were there safe spaces for a clip <laughs> yeah, and i was I, in there how crying. could they do it in college <laughs> i understand it. releasing you so you get to experience it and take a gander but like elementary school they have to like not looking out for recess because kids at a small age will just stare at the sun like hmm, where, where is it like, we had to stay inside for recess for our eclipse in the 90s because that's what we would do. But we got to right. throw a welding helmet at it, and it was like, oh, okay. I just didn't cool. think it was... Like, I see the pictures, and it's, like, cool, but I'm like, all right, whatever. Watching it on CBS News, every, all the reporters went speechless. Like, my friend, you know Michelle, she she said it was life-changing. Now, Michelle has... What? Yeah. So, <laughs> when, when, <laughs> when Michelle says... When Michelle says life changing, she means it. She's not like me, where it's like this is the greatest day of my life. Yeah, like it, she said it was. She found that this is the one that Tad Western said that all of Africa was nothing but AIDS and blood diamonds. Right. Yeah. right. <laughs> Shockingly, I mean, it made her upset. And then he <laughs> again, not wrong, just not sensitive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but like this, for her to make that kind of declaration is alarming. I, it, it seemed like it was. There's something primordial about it. Where watching, <laughs> like, watching people watch it. And have a, a experience it and go silent and like get overwhelmed by it. It's like, it's like watching cavemen up ten thousand years ago during a sh- going. What's <laughs> going on? You know what I mean? It was. Yeah. But here it was just like eh, it got a cloudy. It got cloudy. There was, was still ten percent showing, so it never got pitch black like it did in like Nashville, right. Tennessee. Right. And apparently, like if you had the glasses, you could see through the clouds. You could. So really? You, yeah. yeah. The really? You could actually see the. What it would look like, I guess. And, like, honestly, Jess and I had to stand in the parking lot and talk to salespeople. Ugh. Oh. Yeah. Like me. <laughs> <laughs> no, Aren't you a salesperson? Yeah, I'm the worst. <laughs> no, I don't consider her a sales weasel. What do you consider her? A friend. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Oh, friend. I love her. Oh. Uh, no, Jess is a, Jess is a co-worker. She hosts, she, along with Kat, hosts the Bob and Tom Week in Review. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kat hasn't been able to make it because of school, but uh, so you can see Jess every Friday around 4 p.m. on the Bob and Tom uh, page. Please go like it. Like it and share it so I don't get fired. Yeah. Aww. You're not going to get fired. Sad. Though. You're all I have left. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> that was sad. Uh, just... um, but, yeah. Like, so why? So, so Trump goes out and he like he does what everybody did, which was kind of get a gauge of where the sun's at and then right. put his glasses and looks. But a photographer gets him looking directly at the sun, and then you think the whole like this is why people don't take Trump anti-Trump people that seriously, is because something as superfluous as that as it's nonsense and it's an right. image, and then it's like oh look at what an idiot! It's like just shut up, cry bitch. So cry. if it was Obama <laughs> and Obama looked at the sun, would they be like, look at him? He's a BA. Like, right, he can yeah. look right at the eclipse, and it doesn't even matter. Exactly. exactly. It sounds racist when you say it like that. No, but I I'm just saying, like, they were probably, he was probably looking up at the clouds and the sun at Jay-Z and Beyonce or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Again, I'm nothing clever to say. Did you vote say. for Trump? <gasps> you don't you ask really people that, Greggy. Yeah. Let me tell you what I did. I went to the polls completely depressed because I'm like, one, I don't want to vote for anyone because this is a terrible election. It's fair Giant to say, right? I was like, I don't think I... Exactly. I was like, this sucks. So, in Indiana, knowing that my vote would not matter, I just threw away a vote, basically. Who did you vote for? I don't know if I should say. Should say. You should say. Why? Tune in next week. I voted for I voted Donate for Donate $100 Trump. now, she and you'll find Bernie out Sanders. who I voted for. Did you vote for, for Donald Trump? Yeah, she voted Donald for Trump. Trump. Bernie Sanders. I will not say. If you donate $100 now on their Patreon. No, I feel like she voted for Marco Rubio. I drew a picture of Garfield. (laughs) 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 You're really not going to say? And not unless there's a donation right this second. Aww. You you couldn't vote in the the actual That's right. That's right. But I voted in the primary. Right. Did you vote for Gary Johnson? Did you feel the Johnson? You've got to donate now. (laughs) (laughs) You're really not going to say? Suspense isn't really actually bothering you? This is awesome. It is. It's working. Like, $200. You <laughs> can submit your Donald payment Trump early Donald is the now. first candidate I've ever seen. He won the election, and people still will not admit they, they voted for him. Russia won, won the election. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 
Uh -huh. there, I used to wake up and watch the news every single day. Turn on, tell me about what's going on in my community. Tell me what's going on around the world. I just got so depressed I stopped waking up to TV. That's so how it was. I wake up in silence. Insane. Hangs out with her weighing out. And, <laughs> <laughs> my weighing is too tired in the morning. So I, just, I don't know. I just Honestly. wake up and I'm sad. And mine. Then I turn on some yeah. tunes and I dance around and that's about my morning. So sing Broadway show tunes usually. So you grew up in Rush County, so you clearly grew I up did. Republican. I grew up Republican. You had to have. G W. Yeah, like you're a great American, and so I went, and then you went to a Christian school, a Christian I went university. I Christian university. I kind so of forgot about the Christian university when I went there. Went there to play softball. Also, where oh. I came up that I was oh. with Beyonce. I played softball my entire life. And Jess, soccer Jess, my entire life. Jess and said on Facebook that Kat is the first intern that she's ever been to first and second base with. That's uh -huh. true. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was an illusion. That's funny. That we was a reference kiss. to Charlottesville. Not I kissed her, a, not I kissed her on the cheek. <laughs> oh, no. That's obviously the universal sound you make when you honk on someone's breast, right? Yeah. I kissed her on the cheek. And I... So it wasn't on the lips. And I also honked her boob. I think. Frankie or Tito, yeah. I don't remember. No, I don't yeah, remember. I but it was like through. I remember layers. all of it. It was through three layers. I didn't actually touch the nipple. <laughs> <laughs> is that your standard? Is that that's yeah. what it is? If you sex. don't see it or touch it, it doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> the areola was not stimulated. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I, you touch my nipple, we have to get married. <laughs> <laughs> Not like these college girls these days. Oh. Anal, anal all day, but I'm a virgin. Oh, God. Girl, please. <laughs> you can be born again. Yeah. <laughs> Anally born again. <laughs> yeah. I believe. You hear that, Seth? How did you feel about the monument? Um, I, again, I kind of got really just bummed out because I don't like the news and I wish everybody would get along. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to say that. I'm so I'm gonna be ignorant so people probably hate me. Like <laughs> I have to take a stand so we're, you're the problem. I'm the problem then because I'm just like, hey guys, you can fight hate with love, right? Remember? Oh um, you're one of those I don't know. See? I don't have an opinion. Are you pro I've got slavery? no opinion. No. <laughs> but my favorite movie is Gone with the Wind. So you're you are from right. I love the yeah. South in Georgia, yeah. and I hate how happy movie. slaves are that in that, so I'm like, that's not accurate. I wish they were all like Mammy, but they weren't. I just love Birth of a Nation. <laughs> <laughs> I love 12 Years a Slave. But you, no, not, not like yeah. the original one from like 1912. Have you ever seen Birth of a Nation? Racist as fuck. And like, it's it was disturbing when I watched it. And then uh, then you hear Woodrow Wilson showed it in the White House, and Real bad racist. Ooh. Prominent Democrat. Yep. Resegregated the army. Ooh. Mm -hmm. wow. yep. Mr. Progressive Hero. Democrats wrote Jim Crow. Democrats, you know, Abraham Lincoln. But then the party the... switched, okay? No, I, they didn't. I, I no, a, Abe Lincoln was a Republican who freed the slaves. I feel like Jess but, is very typical. South is very Democratic. Jess is very typical of most Americans in that she's not really political, and the... Do you want the wall? Like the the, the thing is, is that <laughs> China. the the thing is is that she's driven further away from even engaging in politics because the fringes have come out and just and, and drive everybody crazy, and she's definitely not with Antifa, but she's not down with the Nazis, and so she just goes, eh, I'm not paying attention to this. But, but I, I hear it. But you're watching. No, you can't not watch this. Sure there are people marching with swastikas I in Charlottesville, Virginia. I turned on Virginia. Netflix so fast, and I was like, "Dear Jesus, it is please a watch over all these You didn't people. watch that train wreck that happened. I saw clips, and I was depressed. I'm like, "You were depressed. You, this? you couldn't like not watch it. Like I, I could not it. look away. I probably turned on Archer on Netflix, and I was like, "Yeah, get him, Sterling." <laughs> I, I, and again, it's pretty ignorant, and I'm not trying to say that. I don't know, not feel bad. No, don't, just well, like, don't feel bad. I just, I'm glad you voted for Trump. Did I, Jessica? Or didn't I? You are allowed to have an opinion. I know. And your opinion is valued here, which is why you're here. I don't like how people get so hateful because I have said, oh, something. About, okay, for example, I was talking about a, I go something something Christian music, and someone in the room with me goes, ill. I was like, are you kidding me? Why? That's right. a, that could be considered a hate awesome crime, guy. right? Yeah. <laughs> is that not judging me because of uh, so I quote, And oh, some songs. Oh. Did so good. Is that. it Scott speak or uh, Scott Stapp? It is. Yeah. <laughs> Not Scott Stapp. 
<laughs> that's Christian music, never mind. But DC yeah. rocks. The DC rocks. Um, Jars of Clay. Jars of Clay. So it's a DC talk. Or DC talk. Toby sorry, Mac I, I was never one of those people. Toby Mac's pretty good. So, anyway. but I think she's a great example of somebody that is like in the middle and then doesn't want to get called a Nazi. She's conservative leaning, and so she just doesn't say anything, and then. Because she's so scared that she's going to get called a Nazi, and that's the exact that's the entire point of all this exercise is yeah. is silencing people like Jess who are in that silent silent majority. You work. I'm not allowed to say my opinion because it's already wrong. Right. And if I say anything, it's like, oh, so you're anti-abortion and you are <gasps> extreme this way, and I'm like, didn't even bring that up. 